Hello there, welcome to another video of Nerdy Tech Tips channel. Previously, I made video on how to increase GPU usage. And it has helped a lot of you, but I've decided to cover up all the steps that you must take to get the highest FPS possible from your current PC hardware. So let's get right into it. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me a lot. So before we make any changes to your system, very first thing you must do is create a restore point. Let's create a restore point first. All you need to do is type in the search bar system and you should see create a restore point option. If you don't, just type create a restore point. And over here you can choose a drive for a protection. But we're going to leave all of the other drives off. But we want to make sure that this is on. All right. And because this is on, we don't need to make any changes. It should be on on your system as well. All you need to do is click on create. You can name it backup if you would like to. Now it does take a little bit of time. Don't worry, it's just creating a restore point. Because if we make any changes and if you decide to, you know, install any third party softwares while you're making changes or your changes has caused your system not to boot up, you can actually restore from that point. It would not be a hassle, but we will not be going that extreme to make any changes like that. But just in case, just to be on safe side. So that's all done. The very first thing you should be looking at on your Windows PC, on your Windows 10 check if there are any updates available for me it seems like i do have a problem here i can't seem to find a update option here let's see if we can fix that so to fix that we need to troubleshoot that issue so in the start bar type here to search troubleshoot and you should see troubleshoot settings so we're going to go ahead and click on additional troubleshooters after clicking on additional troubleshooters we go ahead and click on windows update and run the troubleshooter. It says troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem. That has not resolved our issue. So the next fix we are going to try, let's go ahead and run as administrator and go ahead and type here. So it has been successful now for this one command. So the next one should be, we are going to do is sc space config space cryptsvc svc space start equals auto that has been successful as well next command is sc space config space bits space start equals auto and the last one is sc config trusted installer start equals auto these are the four commands that you need to type in and you must reboot your system after that and also the main thing before we go ahead and restart because our update issue was related to its service let's go ahead and see as you can see it says update service was shutting down so in the search bar we are going to type service as you can see our app is coming up services we are going to open that we need to find windows update over here it says running trigger start we're restarting the windows update service has been restarted go ahead and retry we haven't restarted our system just trying my luck there you go it has worked so without restarting our pc we were able to resolve our issue regarding windows update while creating a video of how to increase fps you might have fixed the issue related to your windows update and me too let's go ahead and move further i'm not going to update now so i'm just gonna leave it for later i just want to go on with other steps that you need to take close all the windows we don't need them anymore so our next step is we are going to turn off all the notifications that we don't really need a little bit annoying i don't like notifications showing up on the side of the screen all the time you can turn off all these and also you can turn off the notifications on this like from browser from mail office autoplay automatic file downloads especially from microsoft edge 
and this is another app settings usbs or whatever you don't want you can turn them off here the next option we need to change is personalization so we click on home button and go to personalization over here you can change all the settings so we want to turn off all the features that we don't need so we're going to go ahead and click on background you can change it to solid color and choose any color you would like the next step you can take is go ahead and colors you can turn off transparency effects and that's it from here and the next step we are going to take is regarding defender we are going to turn off defender and if you want to turn off defender permanently there is a way because from this tab if you are going to turn off these wires protections or automatic scan all these settings they will turn on automatically when you restart your system to turn it off completely you need to go to run box hold down window key and r over here you need to type gp edit gp stands for group policy edit.msc and hit ok now under this you need to go to computer configuration then administrator uh, administrative templates we're going to increase it a little bit so it's easier to look for the option and then go ahead and click on windows components go to microsoft defender antivirus scroll down and over here is microsoft defender antivirus we don't need to expand it you just click on it and over here you see turn off microsoft defender antivirus you double click on it read the warning it says if you enable this policy setting microsoft defender antivirus does not run and will not scan computers for mal malware or other potentially unwanted softwares so you can enable that policy all right and you click on apply that's all you need to do and that way you don't have any protection but you will increase the performance of your pc if you're not pirating games from internet you should be safe but if you are pirating then you will be getting a lot of viruses believe me so the next thing we want to do is increase the performance of our card so if you got an nvidia card this is for nvidia users um i don't know if you have these options in amd but for nvidia graphic card users you need to click on your desktop right click and then click on nvidia control panel so basically over here we are going to change only two settings so very first setting you should be looking for is power management mode it should be by default on optimal power you click on it you click on prefer maximum performance and the next setting you want to change is texture filtering quality and over here you want high performance it's not going to change any uh, quality of the image don't worry you always click on high performance this is how everybody run benchmarks and they want to get every last bit of the performance they can they always use these settings so make sure under texture filtering quality choose high performance and you can go ahead and click on apply and we have done that and the next setting that you want to check is if you got two graphic cards in your system or even more you want to make sure your application or game that you want to use is using the right gpu as you can see i have two gpus here i've got an internal integrated gpu which is intel graphics 630 and then there is 2080 ti there are two graphic cards all right so if you have disabled this graphic card by default if you insert a gpu this graphic card should be disabled by default but if it is not you need to make sure your game or application is using the current gpu that can provide you the maximum performance to do that you need to type here graphic settings open graphic settings over here you want to click on browse Oh, here I do have games so you browse a game choose the game launcher select and under performance so once you have selected the game you click on options and you click on high performance GPU save just to make sure when you run that game this game is going to use 2080 Ti that is why I have 
chosen it. It is just to make sure that it is using the current GPU that you want to use and it's not trying to run on Intel shitty GPU. So that is the setting that I also explained in my previous video. And the next thing you want to do is to get more performance out of your card or your system is use MSI Afterburner. You can download it from their website. It's a free piece of software. Uh, your interface might be a little bit different. Just click on this gear icon and you need to click on user interface. And I always use this last one. It's just easier. That's why I always use the last one. Press OK and you can play with the overclocking. You can also click on this automatic overclock button it will automatically find the sweet spot for you and it's really good feature and if it doesn't just you know do overclocking by a little like increase 40 40 40 and see and check where your system is not crashing you can do a little bit of overclocking with that and even more if you got an intel k series or a amd cpu that can be overclocked you know go ahead and do the overclocking for that there is a video in the description i'll put down a link how to overclock Intel K series CPU in the easiest way. And also if you wanna check out how to go with the overclocking with GPU, I will, there is a link in the description. You can go on that as well. And these are the settings that you must change or do when you're installing a new Windows 10 or if you have previously installed Windows. And the last thing you wanna do is eliminate all the softwares that might be running in the background when you launch the game and it could be done automatically to do that you need to download a game booster now this is a game booster that i used to use on my older system it's a razor um game booster something like that i believe that's the one yes that's the software you can click on that and download this one it's safe to use I have used on my previous system when I had a low end PC and it did help me a lot. This piece of software does help you a lot. If you missed out on any settings and if there are any softwares that are running in the background, this will kick them out. This will kick them out of the processes or memory. If you got a low memory, it will free up most of the memory it can. It is very easy to use. You go ahead and click on install. Now it will take a little bit of time. I will speed up the video. So once you are done with that, I mean, once you are done installing that, you click on get started. It, it wants your system to restart. For me, I'm not going to go ahead and restart. I just wanted to show you the steps that I used to take mostly when I had a low end PC. So I can get as much as FPS it can offer. Did really help me. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe and do share it with your friends. It will help them a lot. Thanks for watching.